Hey, what's going on everybody? Jamie McDonald here and this is just going to be like a quick little update video. I will talk about some things that are coming up in the near future. Uh, speak a little bit about the Mirrorless Minutes website and things that are going on there. And also just a quick little update to fill you in from where we left off with my last video. So you know that the last video or the last two videos rather were all pertaining to the OMD EM5 Mark II and when I had that camera it was just on loan to me from Olympus and it was a sample version it wasn't something that they considered to be a production unit so with that being said the camera was not running like an official for production firmware nor was I able to share any of the images that I captured with that camera or video and now since those videos were produced and put online uh, EM5 uh, has been the Mark II has been, you know, brought into production. I guess you could say, and it's shipping now, and people are starting to receive their units. And uh, today, I got my unit. So, this is the EM5 Mark II, obviously in black, with the HLD8 grip. And uh, I know that, you know, I'm not going to go, you know, in depth on this video about the camera yet. What I want to do is I want to spend about a week with it. Uh, again being a production unit I'm gonna spend a week shooting with it I'm gonna get it set up to how I like it and I'll be able to share images captured with it I know a lot of people are curious about the super res mode you know they can capture these just stunningly huge files uh, from the 16 megapixel sensor so I'll make sure that I have some of those files available uh, for you to download if you want to play with them the raw files and I'll talk maybe a bit on that upcoming video about the grip, you know, because the grip does have a headphone jack on the side for people who are, you know, going to be doing uh, video work. So you want to be able to monitor the audio from your video. Uh, I'll talk about things like that. So, you know, stay tuned for a follow-up video regarding the EM5 Mark II. And, you know, again, I, I tend to keep my videos more like, you know, just the how the user experiences it you know again if you want tech specs man you can head over to DP review or there's some other sites out there that'll have all the hard core data that you're after me I'm I'm the end user buddy you know I'm just gonna go out and shoot and I'm gonna have fun with it and I'm gonna talk about you know what it was like from that perspective so again next video that comes out is probably gonna be that so again stay tuned um, let me get this out of the way here and I'm gonna probably talk about how I set up and do these little videos. I know that they're not exactly like high production value, you know, compared to some place like Digital Rev or something, you know, where they probably looks like they put a little more work into theirs than I do mine. But I do get people that ask from time to time, you know, about what are you doing for lights? What are you doing for audio and things like that? And so I think the next video I do is just gonna be a behind the scenes in this little tiny room that I'm using to put together my videos. And I'll talk about things like uh, these really low cost LED lights that I got off of Amazon. So they're from a group called LED Wholesalers. And they're basically a uh, floodlight style bulb that are for track lights in your home. They're 8 watt LED, which I think comes out to, I think that the output is supposed to be similar to like a 100 watt bulb. And I use like this, you know, four bulb head to run four of the bulbs and, I'm, you know, lighting through an umbrella, things like that. So I'll talk about, you know, my lighting setup and I'm not a rich guy, so my lighting setup, everything, I keep everything as low cost as possible. So hopefully that, you know, can appeal to a wide audience out there. Again, I know not everybody wants to spend a fortune to put together videos on occasion. So again, next video is probably going to be EM5 Mark II with one closely behind it regarding you know just behind the scenes of how I do my videos and maybe I'll go over you know post-production a little bit software used and things like that and so to talk about mirrorless minutes you know uh, that's my baby you know mirrorless minutes was it started off as kind of these little videos that I was putting together similar to this you know where I give tips and tricks and techniques for using your Olympus cameras and it they kind of fell by the wayside after a little while and I stopped doing the mirrorless minutes tip videos but I kind of wanted to stay with the whole concept of just doing these short videos and um, keeping it all about the mirrorless cameras primarily it was going to be the Olympus cameras and 
I thought if I wanted to reach a wider audience and maybe get more people to drink the Olympus Kool-Aid, I need to start bringing in uh, other lists, other mirrorless form factors into the group. So I sat down for a little while and thought about how I'd do it and decided, okay, I'm going to put together a blog. So I started up, you know, I bought the mirrorless minutes domain name and buddy of mine, Terry McKay, jumped in and said, hey, dude, you know, I'll put together a site for you. So Terry's an Olympus user and uh, he's kind of like a web design guy too on the side and put together the mirrorless minutes website so if you're not aware of that just swing over to www.mirrorlessminutes.com and you'll find that since its initial inception it's grown to include uh, Fuji shooters and Sony shooters and I think we've got Panasonic shooters on there too so it's it's growing and it's gonna end up in my opinion becoming you know kinda like your hub for mirrorless news and mostly though the the premise behind mirrorless minutes website is going to be for inspiration so i go there every day regardless of the the system that people are using i go there for inspirational reasons you know to get inspired to go shoot and on the mirrorless minutes front while i'm talking about that uh my partner on the mirrorless minutes podcast mike beaning uh he and i will be doing some workshops over the summer here in michigan we're starting out in Michigan with plans of if they go well this year and the format gets developed and it's pretty solid next year, we're probably going to be branching out to other parts of the United States. So stay tuned for that. Uh, and we're actually working on potentially doing something that might involve Iceland. So I won't go any further than that. I'll just throw that little teaser out there. But just uh, again, if you swing over to uh, the Mirrorless Minutes website, check out what we've got going on over there. And uh, on the page, you'll see that we have a link to Mike and I's workshop that we're going to be doing this summer. It's uh, small town to downtown. The premise of that is going to be we're going to do a couple of days workshop, two days. You're going to have one day that is going to be spent doing the 100% urban shooting, street shooting in Metro Detroit. We've got some wicked cool locations there to shoot. We're going to do... Uh, daytime and evening shooting in Detroit. It'll be a blast for people who are into street shooting. And if you're an, a landscape wildlife shooter, it'll be cool to get that juxtaposition of against what you're normally shooting. The second part of the workshop is going to be, and Mike's going to run the, the urban side of things, and the second part of it is the small town portion, which is rural shooting, landscape, uh, country settings, uh, country architecture, and I'm going to be doing that side of it. So it's quite a dynamic workshop and it's really affordable. And if you actually swing over to the Mirrorless Minutes website, you can get a link to it from there. Or you can register directly on Mike Beaning's website. It's Memories by Mike, or I'm sorry, MikeBeaning.com. If you go to www.MikeBeaning.com, you can actually register there. And the spots are filling up super quick for that because it is super cheap and it is a two-day workshop you don't have to drive we'll have a van we'll tote you around we'll stop for lunches and dinners it'll be a heck of an experience so that's what's coming up this summer and looking further you know into the future maybe into next year you know the workshop format kind of branching out uh, across the united states potentially into other countries and uh again i just want to thank you guys for stopping by always watching the videos and sharing them and if you want if you're curious about the EM5 Mark II still and haven't had all of your questions answered in other videos by other people or from reading blog reviews and things like that, throw your questions down in the comment section below and I, I'm i pretty good about getting back to everybody on them. I kind of fell behind a little bit uh, in the past couple of days but I'm kind of catching back up on answering everybody's questions. So again, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to check out mirrorlessminutes.com. Don't forget to check out our podcast that is bi-weekly on Wednesday nights. And again, it's all mirrorless. And actually, our next episode is going to be an interview episode with Valerie Jardin. And I'm sure you know who she is. And if you don't, get out of the cave and go check out some really prominent street shooters out there. And then you'll know who she is. So again, take care and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.